What's up everyone? Uh, it's been a little bit. Um, been really busy with work, obviously. Um, so this video is going to kind of tie around what I've been doing lately with work. And I figured this would kind of be sort of like a little day in the life uh, for me of what my workload looks like. Now mine's going to be a little different uh, depending on what I'm up to. So for the company that I work for, I am the IT manager. So I kind of oversee all of the operations of everything. Um, I have a team of one, uh, that's my coworker. Um, he's more involved with the web development side of things and I handle more so uh, the server management, the network management, the firewall, and et cetera. Um, he does pitch in, uh, you know, pretty commonly uh, with uh, support inquiries or anything like that. And then for more serious things, I kind of deal with those as they come. Um, but today's going to be kind of following me around. Um, I have a phone install to set up. I'm going to be setting up a Sangoma phone system uh, that's going to be installed this weekend, which is exciting. Um, we're moving over from a Shortel system uh, to Sangoma. Sangoma is free PBX for those that don't know, uh, but we purchased the commercial modules, which is PBXact. Uh, so we'll be setting that up. Uh, we had a dual site, so um, one of our branches, uh, the headquarters branch, uh, it's set up pretty commonly uh, to route through. And then uh, what we're doing is, is uh, I'm redesigning the network uh, and adding a data center, which is exciting. So I'll probably show you around what our uh, MDF looks like at our headquarters site, kind of show you what everything does sometime. And then when we move to the data center, I'll try and give you a little peek at what our rack is going to look like, what it's going to be like. Um, but essentially, we're going to be setting that up uh, sometime next month. Uh, and the phone system, hopefully, is going to be completed by this weekend and installed. So I'm going to be traveling to one of our other branches to set up the phone system there, get it ready for this weekend. So hopefully you follow along. So I finally made it to where I was going. It's about uh, 9.45. Uh, this is a typical time for me to get to another branch. It usually takes about 45 minutes depending on traffic. I gotta take all this stuff inside. I've got some ethernet cable, my phones, uh, a speaker system I'll have to wire, and the PBX system actually should be in that. I'll have to show you guys once I get inside. So I made it inside and you guys are never going to believe this, but I'd never signed in on the system and there was a Windows update. So I was sitting at this screen for quite some time. So what I'm doing here is uh, I'm applying my config. So I went inside Endpoint Manager and made sure my phones were going to get set up correctly. I'm just looking over uh, the DHCP server for our headquarters site. I'm going inside of our firewall and applying that same policy just with a, a different IP. Uh, here I'm just showing that the phones are getting connected up as they are expected to. This is what my stack of phones look like. Uh, I've got them all boxed up. I've got the extensions right on the side, who they belong to. Um, this is the PBX system itself. This is going to be going inside of the rack pretty soon. Um, so far everything's been going pretty smooth. I had one quick little issue. Uh, I'll probably explain that later. This is just a quick view of my rack. Um, kind of a little messy at the moment, just kind of getting things plugged in. Um, but here is my uh, import one. I've got that run into a PBX system. Um, port 5's run into the speaker that I hooked up. And then I believe uh, port 7's going to a phone and then port 10 is my trunk um probably got those mixed up no actually yeah port 10 is my trunk so yeah so this is kind of my rack i need to clean up the cables a little bit and i'll be getting rid of the uh, 40 net 
uh, 200D there, and I'll also be getting rid of the short hill system this weekend. Okay, guys, it is uh, 3.48. I'm just now headed back. Uh, been a long day. I had a couple issues for... I'm not really sure what happened, but um, one of the issues I experienced with the system was... Uh, for the Sangoma system, you have a little wizard that comes up when you first set the phone system up. And all that went okay. Uh, and we use the Sangoma phones also system we have comes with something called an endpoint manager that just basically lets us plug in a MAC address to adopt phones automatically and for some reason when I was doing that it um, one of the fields for one of the users so it, I wish I had a screen to show you what it looks like and I may add it to the video but um, it, it'll show like a user's name and it'll give their extension and then you just plug in what brand the phone it is uh, you know, what template you want to apply to it. So it makes it to where you can quickly adopt uh, templates to the system and provision those to the phone. Well, I was only doing about 13 extensions for this branch, and there was one extension in particular that no matter what I did, it just kept failing. And uh, I tried three different phones, and all three phones would provision and it would accept the template but it would never register to the system. So it was like it was uh, reaching out, getting the, getting the config. It would apply the config, would assign the extension to the user, it would assign the name to the user, and it just would not dial out. And when I would go under settings and check to see the account was set up, I confirmed all the settings looked good, I confirmed it was talking, uh, at least appeared to be with our SIP to the PPX system, and nothing it just would not work uh, so that was pretty frustrating what I ended up doing was I tried deleting the extension and deleting the config for that phone several times and re-pushing it and none of that worked so I ended up just deleting the extension making it a completely different extension and it worked first try even with the original phone that I tried so I'm not really sure what happened there I know that when it was trying to do the import process the first time around. There was one in there that was blanked, and I think maybe it imported that in the back end, maybe something. I'm not really sure um, what happened. That's just my thought process on it was maybe uh, it imported blank somehow and it just messed the system up for that extension. I'll probably look further into it to see because I've got a feeling in the future I'll try and adopt that extension and, uh, and run into the same problem. But all in all, um, that was a pretty successful run. I don't have any footage of it, but I did end up mounting uh, the speaker. Uh, I was very fortunate because the speaker uh, that we had now, the existing speaker, um, what it connected to was the 66 block in the back. Um, so that punched all the way down to the back, and that went into a Balcom box, which used a trunk link on our short tail system. This speaker is an Algo speaker, so it is 100% uh, VoIP, uh, so that makes it exciting because then I just need one cable, patch it to my patch panel, hit it to a PoE switch, and I'm done. Well, I thought I was going to have to run a wire all the way because of the original wire was a 66 block. Very fortunately, someone many, many years before I started there must have had a cable ran one pole over, so it was like, here's one pole, and then here's another pole, and the speaker was on this one. Well, there was a cable mounted here, but it was not in use. Uh, so I was able to uh, do a wire trace, do a wire test, make sure it was functional. And then I patched that into my PoE switched, got on a ladder, shimmied up you know, the pole, uh, mounted it, and everything was pretty smooth there. Did a test call, worked uh, a two-way speaker for our warehouse. Other than that, it was pretty basic. The switch was pretty self-explanatory. I didn't run into uh, any issues configuring that. It was just a basic configuration to get uh, an Algo speaker to work. Uh, the Algo speaker is a PoE speaker, so it was pretty nice to have that over the traditional speaker we used to have, which was a 66 block uh, punch down speaker to connect power. Uh, so that was the old school PoE. Um, that we had so that 66 block carries power 
uh, through a cable that goes to the speaker into a uh, Balcom box, and then that's what actually uh, processes the voice traffic. So it's like a really long trunk leak essentially that hooks up to our short tail system. Uh, and I do apologize for the audio. This will be my kind of my first video doing this. Um, so I, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to leave a comment below if you have any questions or concerns. And I greatly thank you for tuning in and watching. Y'all have a great day. So I wanted to freeze frame here uh, and really genuinely thank you guys uh, for all my new subscribers to those that have uh, hooked up with me on LinkedIn or DM'd me, left comments. Uh, I've gained quite a few subscribers over the past few months uh, and I greatly appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, it truly means a lot to see responses to these videos. I know I'm kind of sporadic with my posting, but I do recognize the comments, and I greatly appreciate those that have reached out to me. Um, I'm going to try and make another video pretty soon about how I monitor our network. Um, I think that would be something that's kind of exciting. Uh, we do use a paid tool, so if you guys would be interested in seeing something like a network monitoring video, uh, leave a comment or let me know, and I'll probably release it regardless. So that's the fun of it. Thank you guys again.